still hold the door for me, please? the idea this come from? Well, um, this year one of our dear family friends passed away suddenly and um, she had a real passion for helping kids in particular. She worked a lot with my son and her name was Lisa Carraher and um, two of her huge passions aside from her family were kids and music so we decided to create a talent show in her honor for a cause that was really important to her with Canadian Mental Health is where all the funds raised for this evening will be going. I see lots of people with red noses. Yes. The red nose is significant because when she was tutoring my son and working with my son, she would incorporate humor by putting on a red nose and she just always wanted to make learning so fun for him and all the kids that she taught. And so that's its significance behind the red nose. Kate, what are we going to see tonight? We are going to see the most talented kids in PEI. It's incredible. So many singers, dancers, gymnasts, rock bands. It's going to be an unbelievable show. And what do you want to say to all the people who have entered this talent show? Good luck tonight. We have um, two prizes, a Lisa's Choice prize that will be voted on by her family and also a thousand dollar prize for the, the big winner. But all of you are winners. Congratulations on auditioning, being brave to come up here and perform, and good luck. And uh, you have judges tonight, so they're they're going to have some real difficult decisions to make. I don't. I wouldn't want to be a judge tonight. We have two celebrity judges, Megan Blanchard and Kinley Dowling, both performers here locally. And then we have Lisa's son, Logan, as our um, guest uh, judge this evening as well. Okay. Have a great show. Thank you. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fans of all ages, welcome to the Red Nose Talent Show, a fundraiser for the Canadian Mental Health Association of Prince Edward Island. Introducing your host, your MC, the man, the myth, the legend, Al Douglas. Thank you. What an intro. I wish I had that for everywhere I went. That'd be incredible. Thank you guys, thank you. I'm gonna do this a lot tonight, but thank you guys for coming out. I wanna start off with that. Uh, this is a super important but super fun event. 
I know you're missing the Saturday Night Hoedown right now, uh, so we appreciate you filling those seats. It's a great thing you've done already. Who is ready for an incredible night of entertainment, of talent, of energy, of fun? That's what we're here for. It's going to be a great time. As the, uh, the voice of the room said, my name is Al Douglas. I am so happy to be here. I saw a few of the acts already this morning as they were doing their rehearsals, and let me tell you, you guys are in for a show. Aside from this being the Red Nose Talent Show, the first annual, I may add, we're already throwing it out there that's gonna be a second annual, so give a round of applause for that. It's great. Going from there, like I said, so much talent. 15 acts coming onto the stage, everything from dance to singing to music, rock and roll, everything in between. It's gonna be a great time. How the show is gonna work, as I said, there's 15 acts. We also have three judges here for the night, three special guest judges. I'll start off with someone that really needs no introduction, Megan Blanchard. I'm sure most of you have heard her name. She's offered up her time, her talent, and her skill to judge the crew in here. The next one also needs no real introduction. Kinley Dowling, local songwriter, social activist. She's here, she is sparkly. It's great to see you. Our last and final judge, Logan O'Donnell is here as well. Now the organizer, Kate Flanagan will, be, will give a bit more info on, on why he's here, uh, which will be great. So without further ado, I'd like to bring on the uh, event manager, the real idea person behind this event, Kate Flanagan, come onto the stage. Yeah, okay, my mic's good. Um, welcome everyone to the first annual Red Show Talent, Red Nose Talent Show. Um, my name is Kate Flanagan, and as Al said, I, I am the event organizer, and I'm so excited for today. So who has their red noses? Okay, we need to get everybody to put them on so we can get the photographer to take a picture of everybody. Where's Sue? There she is. mentioned you guys today I was here for rehearsals and seriously it was amazing so inspiring you guys are seriously in for one heck of a show so tonight's show is dedicated and in honor of a very important person to me my family and so many others she impacted Lisa Carraher was a loving compassionate person who had a passion and gift for helping children after her sudden passing this year, I decided to do something to give back to her for all she had done for our family and my son, Jack. I reached out to her kids, Logan and Brooke, to find out what her passions were, and they both agreed that outside her family, her love and passion for both children and music were undeniable. That is where the idea to create the show comes from. The red nose, signifies the humor that she would incorporate into her teachings with my son Jack. Her goal with Jack and all the students that she worked with was always to make learning super fun. We dedicate tonight to her with all proceeds raised going to Canadian Mental Health PEI Division, which was a cause that was near and dear to her heart. I know she'll be watching here in spirit with her big beautiful smile and maybe a red clown nose on 
and I know her amazing family who is here this evening would agree she would be so proud of all these kids tonight. And last but not least, I would like to thank my incredible, our incredible committee, volunteers and sponsors for this evening, because without them, obviously this wouldn't be possible. First, thank you to Mr. Handsome, Al Douglas, our MC, Judges Kinley, Dowling, Megan Blanchard, and I'm so excited and honored to have Lisa's son, Logan O'Donnell, here tonight as one of our guest judges. All of the volunteers leading up to the show and here tonight, um, Denise Fleming, Nancy Clark, the CMHA staff, Jesse Fleming, Haley Fleming, Megan Singleton, Aiden Smith, Taylor Burns, Carter Smith, Nicholas Clark, Sue Gallant, our photographer. Also, everyone that donated financially or in kind and all the donations to the silent auction um, will be going over some of those, those um, sponsorships and stuff later. Our committee, John Geralt, Mark McKenzie, Bianca McGregor, who works for CMHA, who's done so much work on this event with all the website and so many things, the financial side, and she's been absolutely amazing, couldn't have done it without her. And a huge big shout out to my brother-in-law back there, Brent Burns, who is the producer of the show and the reason why the show will be a huge success tonight. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of our brave performers here today. Um, what they're doing, they're all, everybody's got a little nerves going on, so I know that they're going to do incredible. And I also want to thank all of you for coming out here tonight and supporting the show. Um, it means so much to me and everybody involved, and I know Lisa's family greatly appreciated, appreciates it, as well as the Canadian Mental Health Association. So, are you ready to get this show on the road? I'm so excited. Yes. Um, so now I'm going to call back out to the stage and see Al Douglas to take over. Where are you? I'm still here. Okay. We're good. Oh. We're good. I'm good. Okay. I'm going. All right. <laughs> see you. Thank you, Kate. Big hand for Kate. She is the driving force behind this event. So before we get going, we're going to show you the talent that we have here tonight. We're going to bring out everybody on the stage just to see how awesome this crowd looks and for you guys to see how awesome all this talent looks. So let's bring them out. Does everybody have their noses? Throw those noses on. That'll make them feel real comfortable. We're good to go. Let's get a huge round of applause for all these people coming out too. Massive, massive applause. Come on out guys. Give it up. that going. You guys keep going. We need that louder. Let's do it. Your first annual Red Nose Talent Show. Talent. Woo. Does uh, everyone getting their pictures in? All the iPhones are out. Pictures are done. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're all good. Once again, guys, the amount of talent on stage here is incredible. Incredible. Incredible showing from across PEI. Thank you guys so much. 
I think we can uh, we can get ready for the show now. I think we're good. Everyone feels comfortable. How's everyone on stage feeling? How are you guys feeling? You guys are good. I know you guys are good. All right, let's kick it off. One more big round of applause for this huge amount of talent, and we'll get rolling. Haley can lead the way. You know that, uh, you know an event is professionally run when they have background music like that. Good find, really good find. I think they're ready to go. The first act coming up. Uh, my name's Ash Garcia Saunders. I'm the drummer for the Typeless, and our name is the Typeless. Yeah! I'm Ethan, I'm 16, and I'm the guitarist for our band. What's your name? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I want to be a goat farmer when I grow up. That's a nice job. Yeah. I want to be a photographer when I grow up even more. Who's your inspiration? My inspiration is Trey Cole from, from Green Day. Nature inspires me. What do you like to do if, if you're not, when you're not practicing drums? I like doing landscaping. Ethan, what do you like doing in your pastime? By the way, Molly, I like biking. Uh, we both knew that we had the talent to perform when we we played live shows at our old school. Yeah. They've described themselves as a uh, potential goat farmer, an aspiring photographer. Not sure how either of those relates to their act. We'll find out. But please give a warm welcome to Isaac and Ethan Saunders. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm Ethan. This is Isaac. We're both brothers. <laughs> um, today we're going to be pl playing a uh, an original, which is one thing that we've been trying to get to do. Um, we are kind of looking for a, a singer and a bassist. So uh, if you you know know anyone, set us up. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. This is such a great cause. I, you know, um, my mom's been working with CMHA, Canadian Mental Health, for quite a while, so, yeah, it's a, it's a great cause. Have fun. Yeah.
Give it up for Isaac and Ethan Saunders. Starting off with some rock and roll. All right. Come on up here, guys. So like I said, we have our judges in the house. And conveniently, they also have a mic. So they can offer some feedback to these guys. First one's up, lots of pressure. How'd you guys feel about it? Oh, great. <laughs> lots of depth to that. That was great. That was awesome. How about the judges? How'd you feel about that uh, performance? I thought it was great. Hey guys, that was phenomenal. I, uh, yeah, it looked like you got, you were just grooving. I was kind of sitting here and it was really hard for me to not want to jump up on stage and be like, oh, I'll be your singer, no problem. Um, but I appreciate the PSA, the public service announcement, to get uh, the other members of your band. I thought that was good, because you may find them tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I would offer any advice, I think what I'd say would be to look at each other when you're performing, because you guys are grooving and you're, I know it's hard to, you know, look at your friends when you're performing because you're focusing so hard on what you're doing but when you guys I'm assuming you're friends well, and brothers, brothers I know yeah <laughs> I have sisters that I perform with too but but when you look at each other the audience will feel that and if your relationship is anything like my sisters or my siblings you know you just have fun when you look you know you kind of have that brotherly thing so let the audience see that that's fun and that communicates to us too so Yeah, you guys are pretty sweet. I mean, um, I like the fact that you guys portray your personalities before you guys perform. That's really awesome. Uh, it's good to see a different side of you guys. Um, as for the song, it was awesome. I mean, um, again, uh, like she said, it, it, it's really cool that you guys were looking for a vocalist. Um, and I think that would just like top notch that song. Like, Groovin' was a great way to put it. Um, and it was really great to listen to. Great job. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. There we go, yeah. Clap anytime you want. Clapping's good. <laughs> cool. Yeah, the first thing I wrote down was good groove, sweet grooves. Yeah, you guys play really well together, and it was really in time. That was really important, and you nailed it. Uh, it kind of reminded me of the White Stripes. I liked it a lot. Uh, yeah, I thought you were really prepared. This, is, this might be ridiculous, but in music, there's kind of one rule, and it's we call it SOS. You're not supposed to wear shorts on stage. <laughs> but, you know, maybe it's different because you're the drummer, so they're like the cool ones, so maybe it's fine. Anyway, I thought you guys were great, so keep it up. Yeah, yeah. have fun. Thank you very much. It, it's still summer, so I can wear, I can wear shorts. Hit Thanks, us, guys. Hit us up after the show if you want to be our bassist or vocalist. That would be great. That's what we're missing, so, yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Big round of applause for these guys. Isaac and Ethan. See, I knew that rule from before, that's why I didn't wear shorts. <laughs> totally knew that beforehand. So, we're gonna keep moving. I'm gonna get out of the way a little bit here. The next act will be coming up soon. I want you guys to keep in mind whenever this uh, next act comes up that uh, she wrote this song. Just keep that in mind when you see it. I'm not going to spoil anything else. Just want you to know she wrote this song. Incredible. Hi, my name is Layla O'Brien. I'm 10 years old and I want to be an Olympic gymnast when I get older and a singer songwriter. My inspiration is my dad and I look up to my mom. And what I do in my spare time is I hang out with friends and read books. <laughs> I think we're good to go. We're all good. Yep. So, accompanied by her dad, we have Layla O'Brien. Let's give it up. you in my arms I'm missing you like crazy and it 
it's breaking my heart All the loose months between us can't keep us apart Cause I've waited When you come home When you come home to me I'll be sitting waiting Just you wait and see When you come home When you come home to me Cause I've for Layla O'Brien. Awesome. You did amazing. Singer, songwriter. She has it all. Amazing. Let's start with let's start with Kinley this time. Oh man, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for singing. Uh, I really love the lyrics and uh, it was in tune. It was great. It was perfect. You remember all the lyrics. That's my problem. I can never remember the lyrics to my own song, but you nailed it. Uh, one of my favorite shows is Nashville, and you just, I felt like I was watching the show Nashville, and you're the star, that's beautiful. Um, yeah, I wouldn't change anything. I, I, one of my songs is going to be used in a PEI, like, government tourism commercial to try and get people to move home, and I was like, maybe they should use your song, actually. That's a perfect <laughs> song, you. it's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, uh, your confidence was great. Uh, you could see it really grow uh, throughout the song, and the lyrics were absolutely beautiful, so um, amazing job. Uh, your voice is gorgeous. Um, I wish you could continue singing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, and the fact that you wrote that song just blows my mind. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. How, how old are you again? I'm 10 years old. Oh my goodness. You're incredible. What were you doing when you were 10, Megan? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, hanging out with my dog, I guess. Um, you are, I was so impressed, you know, you kind of walked out and uh, right before you were about to sing, I could see you smile a little. And I just thought, wow, she really likes, it. she's excited. I, I, you know, I know you probably were a little nervous. You didn't seem nervous, but when you let out that little smile, I just thought, oh, she, she really likes this. Um, I thought you're dressed great. You're not wearing flashy anything with It's nothing distracting. It really, you know, you're really dressed well to perform um, You were so in tune and your pitch is just perfect. It's really really impressive And your chorus is so hooky. Were you guys singing that too? Like I could sing it after it was it was one of those earworms so yeah, I mean, if I could offer you any advice, I'd just say keep doing what you're doing. And uh, also, I know how awkward it is. I feel awkward just holding a mic like this. But it's hard to sing and just hold a mic. But I know you were kind of holding your arm like this because it's weird. But 
um, to not, I'm used to having a guitar, but to try and maybe practice in front of a mirror, just letting your hand fall and keeping your palm open when you sing and kind of look at angles around an audience. So I try and say A, B, and C and just make sure you sing to this side and then sing to this side so people can see the side of your face. That's really attractive, like for an audience member. Because you got the vocals, you got the song, and I have a songwriting camp for girls, and you would be the youngest by far, and you would be killing it. Um, PSA, oh dear. Um, but yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. It's phenomenal. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, judges. Thanks, Layla. That was incredible. Great advice from you guys. That's great. We're going to keep things rolling really quickly here. Next up, another singer playing along with his dad here. Hi, my name's Garrett O'Brien, and I'm 14. In my spare time, I like to play baseball. My inspiration is my father. When I grow up, I'd like to be a chef. Let's give it up for Garrett O'Brien. Used to spend my nights out in a ballroom Liquor was the only love I've known But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom And brought me back from being too far gone You're always smooth it's Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as glass of brandy. When I stay stone on your love all the time. I've looked for love in all the same old places. Always dry. But when you poured out your heart, I didn't waste it. Cause there's nothing like your love to give me high. Your smooth is Tennessee whiskey. talking. Uh, Logan, you're up. Yeah, I mean, that, that was amazing. Um, super smooth voice. Um, 
groovy, perfect word to describe it. Um, you're super calm, cool, collected. Um, yeah, your voice is it's something to be admired for sure. Um, I think if I had any advice at all, just be a little more active on stage. Like I thought you had really amazing confidence. You were looking at all areas of the audience. That was great. Um, but I mean, like the way you were singing, there was just so much energy there. Um, if you put it into like the moves, steps on stage, I think that that really tops it off. Thank you. Awesome, Megan. Yeah. Um, you make redheads look so cool, and I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, that high note was great. It, when you kind of did that big swoop up to the, the high, you didn't crack at all. It was really very impressive. And I think I would say the same thing um, is kind of, you know, you would sing a, a line and then you'd look down. But what's really amazing is when you can kind of put pressure on your audience. Like if you can sing a, a note, like maybe that big high note, and you keep looking at someone in the audience. And I always try and like lock eyes with someone. Not to make them uncomfortable, but just you're putting pressure on an audience because an audience can put pressure on you, so you need to kind of give it right back. But it's great. Keep it up. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. You're wicked. Your whole family is awesome. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you sang really in, in tune. It was great. And you got cool style. I wrote, sings with swagger. You got like serious swagger in your voice. Um, and you have a big, full voice, and it was very confident. Um, yeah, I was like, I also wrote down family band. Do you guys ever sing together? Uh, that would be a really cool duet, I think. Anyway, just something to think about. Yeah, it was great. Good job. Thank you. Awesome. One more time, get up for Garrett O'Brien.